This video will examine the bare fiber type oxalite sensors. Let's start with the oxygen only bare fiber sensor, or the NXBF-O-E. This probe connects to our oxalite system, and you can see the blue ring on the probe connector matches the color of the oxalite. The bare fiber type probes are the most popular sensors for work in vivo as they're minimally invasive and allow for precise placement in the region of interest. This probe consists of a single glass fiber that is approximately 250 microns in diameter. It's placed with an introducer, like an angiocath, and can be placed in virtually any tissue. The removable lure connector means that you can use it with standard ports, like in cerebral applications, or for more acute studies like muscle, skin, or tumor applications. They can be cleaned with 70% alcohol, and the white coiled cable you see in the photo on the right is approximately two and a half meters long. Now we'll look at the oxygen temperature bare fiber sensor, or the NXBF slash OT slash E. This sensor is very similar to the oxygen only sensor that we just looked at, except that it also has a very thin thermocouple that allows for combination measurements of oxygen and temperature from the same microregion. The addition of this thermocouple means that this sensor is not MRI compatible like the oxygen only sensor. However, it provides the benefit of automatic temperature compensation, while the oxygen only sensor requires manual temperature compensation. Like all oxalite sensors, these have a sampling lifetime of approximately 48 hours with the highest sampling rate of 1 Hz. For more information on the lifetime of the oxalite sensors, please watch our product overview video where we review how the sensors work and why they're consumable. So let's take a look at these two sensors side by side. We have the oxygen temperature or the OT sensor on top and the oxygen only or the O sensor just below it. Both sensors have fibers that are very thin and it's almost hard to see unless you can notice the light reflecting off of them. Both sensors are six centimeters long. These are meant to be inserted straight into the tissue with an introducer like a cannula or catheter. They're somewhat flexible, but must be used gently as they are fragile glass fibers and could break if used without an introducer. When you look at the two sensors side by side, you'll be able to see that the OT sensor has a very thin red thermocouple that's wrapped around the glass fiber. You can see the color differences here just ever so slightly. This thermocouple makes the oxygen temperature sensor slightly larger in diameter than the oxygen only sensor. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions about the information that appeared in this video, please contact our application specialists or head to our website at www.sintica.com.